Hello there, my name is Ian Dixon. I am a business coach and motivational speaker for a living. Um, but the secret is for the last 10 years, uh, although I'm a business coach, I have never coached a business, I coach people. It's just a coincidence that they happen to run businesses. Over the next 15 minutes, what I want to do is take you on a journey, which is a little bit about my why, why I do what I do, and a little bit of a, um, a, a takeaway that profoundly changed my life. And I'm kind of hoping when I share it with you, It'll, be, it'll do something for you that you can take away on you. So just out of interest, people in the room, over the last three or four days, who's been put in a good mood, put in a good mood by somebody? I'm sure there were a few people last night that got put in a good mood. <laughs> um, and has anybody, been put, just coincidentally, been put in a bad mood this week by somebody? Just an interesting show. Of right, so hold those thoughts. Right, so where I want to go first is I want to go back to 2004, and I'm going to kill the room right now. So I want you to imagine that I am sat on a motorway bridge, the wrong side of the barrier, thinking about jumping off. In 2004, I got made redundant from a very high profile job and it had taken me 20 years to get to that place. And within 15 minutes, it was taken away from me. Destroyed me. I was working in Reading, living in Portsmouth, um, six figure salary, <coughs> thousand staff, May redundant. And on the way home, I did not want to start again. And I stopped twice on the way home, completely sane. I was in, in, actually quite lucid, but actually my decision was I did not want to start again. And some of the hardest starts that we make in life is starting again, starting something again. And I sat on that bridge and in, interestingly, Nobody stopped to see what I was doing. I was the wrong side of the barrier, sat thinking about whether or not I should go forwards or backwards. I did not want to go backwards. I'm still here, so obviously I did not jump. <laughs> I went home. Right, now let me take you back to 1987 and to understand why I ended up in that space. In 1987, my mum died, okay? Now, I don't want to create a morbid story here. My mum died in 1987, age 43, uh, in, a, in a very, very short period of time. And it absolutely, profoundly changed my life and gave me the realisation that all things are finite and, and, and things do have an end. And it was the first realisation for me of, of something so incredibly powerful that gets taken away. And one of the things that profoundly changed my life that day was the fact that within two weeks, everybody went back to normal and people went back to their day jobs. And I was full of, how dare you? How dare you go back to your day job? This person was a very, very special person on the planet. And these people are just going back, getting their haircuts, going back to work. And I was still in a, in a very deep mourning phase of my life. So, and, but what, I did, what came to me during that, that period of when my mum was taken away was, what I want to do was something that she shared with me, which was just because you can't finish something in your life is not a reason not to start it, okay? Just because you cannot finish something in your life, this is not a reason not to start it. So I wanted to spend the rest of my life, it was my why, I found my why, I wanted to leave a legacy, I wanted to leave something behind when I die that says Ian Dixon was on the planet. Not some big building or a car with my number on it, but something tangible, something that would carry on and continue to grow after I've gone. So I spent the next 20, 25 years as a corporate lad, getting my name on a business card, thinking I was the big cheese. It was rubbish, okay? It was stripped away from me. That was not my legacy. So, <clears throat> I, uh, so let me come, come back then to 2004, okay, so, so I spent that time trying to get to that position. I made a choice that day not to step forward but to step back. I went home, four weeks later a huge great fat check arrived, which was very nice, and I did what any sane normal person would do, is I went to the Maldives and I bought a new car. <laughs> but while I was there, some things happened to me, some, some paradigm shifts for me, some absolute mind-changing events happened to me while I was away on holiday about how I was going to turn what had happened to me back in 1987 and 2004 to make my life start when I was 44 years old. I have not worked a day since. I love what I do. 
it's an absolute privilege and a pleasure to be able to do this and to be able to share. Now, one of the things that profoundly changed my life was that I came up with a concept and an idea that kept me happy, that kept me in a good space. So I'm going to share that with you. And I bet, please take this away with you because it's the simplest, easiest thing to do. And globally, I get picture text, uh, mobile images, um, I get f Facebook emails, even videos of people sharing this concept. So it's a really, really simple concept. And I want to share it with you because it profoundly changed my life. Right, so you people in the room that have been put in a good mood or a bad mood over the course of the last few days, over the course of the last few years, it's a fallacy, okay? Nobody will ever, ever, ever put you in a good mood or a bad mood. That's a choice that you are making. And that day when I was on that bridge, I made a choice. That day when my mum died, I made a choice, okay? So I'm not saying that it's right or wrong to be in a good mood or a bad mood but you cannot blame or use somebody else as the reason for being in that space. So every single morning when I get up, when, before I kick my legs, it's a lovely sight, I'm sure you can imagine, <laughs> before I kick my legs out of bed, nobody's messed my day up yet, okay? So at half past five this morning when I'm getting up to come here, I'm sat thinking about the day, I always think, you know, I always start with the end of mind, think about how the day's gonna go, and I, and I have this big fat number above my head, and I call them happy numbers. And it's my choice what number I'm gonna ping above my head for that day. And annoyingly, it, for people that know me, I am annoyingly always start on an eight. It's very rare that you'll ever catch me on anything less than an eight or a nine out of 10. You've always got to have somewhere else to go, of course. <laughs> Just yesterday, one of my clients uh, sent me a, a, a note saying that they were all on a 10 in the office today. And I sent a note back saying I was on an eight. And they said, only an eight? And I said, yeah, because oh, you always have to have, have somewhere to go. So, right, so this concept of happy numbers. I see numbers, I see all these numbers in the room right now. You've all got big fat numbers over your heads. Right, the really, really important thing to know here is that everybody else sees your numbers too. And if those that are familiar with the law of attraction, you will attract like numbers. So if there's any twos in the room, you're welcome to go. <laughs> all right, so, because we don't want twos, threes or fours. And for those that are sat on the fence thinking, well, I'm always on a five, I can be Johnny Neutral, there is no such thing as a neutral, neutral number. You are either down there or up there. And it's your choice. It's something that you choose to do. Nobody will ever give you that number. That's your number, okay? I call it the super drug syndrome. So has anybody been in the supermarket, queued up, you've got a 17-year-old on a checkout with a face like a lemon, cle <laughs> clearly on a two, right? She doesn't look up. She's scanning your, your food through the checkout. She is having an impact on you. She is having an impact on you. We vibrate energy. I just call them happy numbers. That energy that you're vibrating is either a two, a three, a seven, an eight, a nine, or a 10. Has anybody been sat in a room full of people? It's buzzy, like this morning, okay? And then Mr. Grumpy comes in. <laughs> Mr. Grumpy comes in <laughs> with, a face like, with a face like thunder, and he sits down, he never says a word, but he kills the room. That's those numbers, all right? So when you go home today, when you put your key in the door, just remember the number that's above your head is really, really important. And the number of those people inside your home is important. You cannot hide those numbers. It's a science, we vibrate energy, it's a fact, okay? So if you can imagine seeing all these numbers, next time you're at a 4M meeting, next time that you're in a group of people, just remember, that the number that's above your head will attract like numbers. There's no point a two trying to talk to a 10, it does not work, okay? So if you want to talk to a 10, then you need to be on a 10, all right? So keep away from the psychic vampires and the mood hoovers, because <laughs> they will burst your number, all right? So repel them, attract positive numbers. Now the brilliant thing is, if you scale this up, can you imagine when you've got 20, 30 people in a business, all vibrating, great energy. They attract great clients, they great, attract great suppliers, prospects, everything changes. I have businesses, they don't clock in in the mornings, they number in, and they keep each other honest, and they write their numbers up on a board. And if somebody's on a five, go and have a cigarette and come back when you're on an eight. Because <laughs> they don't want low numbers. Keep each other honest. 
I hope you found it useful. It's like a real whistle stop. I really don't have much time to share with you my, my full story, but I wanted to share with you a little bit about my why, why I am the way that I am and why I do what I do. I genuinely don't feel like I have worked today in the last 10 years. It's an absolute privilege to be able to share. Um, if you've got any questions, I'm more than happy to answer. Um, and uh, thank you very much for sharing with me today. Thank you. Thank you.